Callan. Mr. Callan. Keep your eyes on the road. Mr. Callan. What? I shouldn't be driving along here. I shouldn't be this far out. Just get us there. But, but it's not right, Mr. Callan. A driver is not compelled to accept a hiring of more than six miles or one hour in duration. Watch for the turn off. Yes, Mr. Callan. Don't worry, we're not being followed. Yes, I understand. Well, They're almost there, sir. Any problems? No, none, whatever. That's what I don't like, Liz. Oxford. We're not going there. I like Oxford. I have friends there. I mean, I had friends there. Once. What happened to them? Who knows? What's happened to some of your friends, Callan? Stop the cab. What, here? When you follow this map. At the right hand fork there, about four miles down the road. It's getting very complicated, Mr. Callan. Just drive the cab. They've arrived. No, no incident at all. Yes, puzzles me too. Uh, we are on full alert, of course. Well, that's the problem. If you're wrong, as you say, Callan's a dead man. Huh? Right, off you go. Go where, Mr. Callan? Back to London. Do you mean that's all? What do you want? Green stamps? No, but, I mean, don't I get a cup of tea or nothing? No. It's been a long drive, Mr. Callan. It's 73 miles at the clock. I couldn't have spent a penny, too. Later. I just hope there won't be any accidents. Well, drive carefully. You'll be all right, won't you? I didn't mean that kind of an accident. Lonely. That house. Yeah? You forget you ever seen it. You forget even how you got here, right? Oh, you know me. Exactly. Oh, yeah, the map. Huh. Do you mean you're going to stay here on your own? Just you and that bloke? You should be back in London in a couple of hours, shouldn't you? Yeah, well, couldn't I just nick in just for a few seconds? No! Well, I'll be seeing you then. I hope so. of home. Yesterday's. Quick work. We've got some more there that might interest you. The People's Daily. Not yet. <laughs> well? Relax. I was about to give you the same advice. We've got all the time in the world. I'm sure. It's a nice place. It's all right. Uh, you've been here before, of course. Of course. That was a debriefing, too. In a way. Successful. Perhaps I should show you to your room. Tell me, what happened here last time? That's none of your concern. Well, I'm interested. Professional curiosity. How did it go? He talked. And afterwards? He died. It was an accident. Of course. We're like surgeons. The operation was successful, the patient died. It's happened to my colleagues. As surgeons or patients? Both. Dear me, we're getting morbid, may I? You're my guest. I am. How about you? 
No. I'll say it again. Relax. Tell me, uh, that little taxi driver, is he one of your men? Not really. You merely use him when convenient. In a way. I find it very refreshing, that kind of informality. Oh, yeah. You see, if you were in my shoes, you'd have been bought here in a staff car with dark windows, driven by a coal-faced goon. That I know. There'd be guards at the gates, dogs patrolling the ground. I take it that we're quite alone here? Yes. Absolutely on our own? Yes. So that whatever happens, it's between us two. If you like, I like it very much. It appeals to me. It shows imagination. Yes, it wasn't my idea. Who looks after us? Food and so on. We do. You and I. That's right. It's quite safe, is it? I hope so. The grounds are beautiful, but they also seem very big. I would be happier, you know, if some of those guards and dogs were around. Yeah, well, nobody knows about this place except my people, so nobody knows you're here. What you call a safe house. I hope you're right. Yeah. I'll show you to your room. Find the step. Everything you need. In there. Where do you sleep? Across the corridor. I am a very upper class it all is. All we need now is the butler. Perhaps the French maid. Yeah. Make yourself at home. I will. All this stuff necessary. I only want to eavesdrop. We also specified complete cover, sir. Every room. It's very complicated. Well, Mr. Jarrah will be here all the time. Jarrah? You wanted somebody seconded from monitoring. They've sent Mr. Jarrah, sir. He's very good. Well, it's all set. This switch records. This one puts it through the loudspeaker. Well, why can't we have it small, miniaturized, like those Japanese things? This one's quite a difficult job, sir. Mm. That's what everyone says, and I want anything done. All right. better. This must be a five-star establishment. Oh, I don't think you need. Like a shot of pentathol. They tried that once, didn't they? Mm. You and I can be quite proud, you know, Callan. The way we stood up to it. Yeah. I hope your lot gave you a rise. What did you get? I got a job I didn't want. <laughs> Maybe they misjudged you. I don't know about you. I feel like something to eat. What do we do? Clap our hands? No, it's downstairs already. After you. <laughs> well, there we are. All cold, I'm afraid. Nothing but the best, I'm sure. Thank you. Thought we'd start with this, and then we can help ourselves later. Oh, I am sorry. What's the matter? I'm allergic to shellfish and that kind of thing. Hard luck. You'll have to skip yours, won't you? But isn't in my dossier. Well, perhaps our caterers didn't read it. Surprise, surprise. We note everything like that in our files when never knows what could be useful. Oh, yeah? Listen, allergy to bloody shellfish isn't exactly a fatal weakness, is it? Any weakness can be fatal, my dear fellow. Roast beef over there. Underdone. Very good. Splendidly British it looks, too. This will do fine. Wine? Are you an expert? Oh, yeah. Red with meat, white with fish. They're not sparing any expense, are they? Perhaps I think you're going to be impressed. I am. I really am. I've always made it a basic rule, you know, to think to the left, 
eat with the right. Excellent Russian salad. You know something funny, Callan? You can never get it in Russia. Yeah. I give you a toast. To what? The British taxpayer. Damn cheek. Yes? Mr. Jarrow is here, sir. Right, gentlemen. Here me, sir. You're Jarrow? Yes, sir. From security monitoring? Yes, sir. Seconded to you, I believe. Well, how long have you been doing this work? Since I left the army, sir. You were in the army? Yes, sir. Captain Royal Signals. Special NATO communications group. Good God. Well, here it is. Seems to be working all right. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to get on quite well. I know we are. Yeah, well, come on, drink up. I couldn't bear it if they saved money on us. Mm -hmm. Very special operation, this, is it, sir? Yes. Very special. When do we begin? We've already begun. Of course. They want to know why you're really here. I don't blame them. I wouldn't trust myself in their place. Why did you come back to this country? I asked to be sent back. Why? So that we could sit here and talk. Of course, that's the part they didn't know about. You mean you planned all along to change sides? No. You have defected. I said no. Then what's all this about? You're getting every word of this. Mm. When they arrested you... My dear, can I give you some credit? They didn't arrest me. I handed myself over. You didn't exactly walk in, did you? It was safer doing it my way. Safer? I'm a marked man now. You know that as well as I do. Rodham would give his yeah. right eye to get me. Rodham. Ah, Hunter. Section 9, First Directorate. They do what you do. Look, if you turned up in Moscow the way I did in London, who would sell you life insurance? Well, then, if you haven't changed sides, I'm on nobody's side now. Then why are you here? To vanish, eventually. Leeds, maybe Montreal, a little village in Devon, farm in Utah. The West is very big. Yes, I see. Sanctuary. Callan. Have you never wanted just to disappear? Have you never got tired of the whole business, had just one wish? To forget and be forgotten. Go on. That's it. That's why I'm here. And you expect us to help you? Oh, there's a price. I know that. And I'll pay it. You mean you'll give information? I will not betray my people, no. And what are you selling? I don't mind betraying a traitor. Do go on. He betrays you for 30 pieces of silver, not out of convictions, belief, or idealism, but simply for what he gets out of it. I never did like Judas, so I'll betray him. Who is it? Ah, uh ah, -uh, not so fast. I may have paid the deposit. We still have to clinch the deal. Ah, uh ah, -uh, that's not good enough, and you know it. You're quite right. I wouldn't approve either. Well? This is going to be rather unpleasant for you, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, I can see you're going to hate every minute. Nah, I shan't have any sleepless nights. He's been useful to us, but for various reasons he's outlived that usefulness. He won't be any loss to us. The rest I leave to you. Who is he? Somebody in your own section. Right. Now let's stop playing games. If anybody is playing games, Callan, it's you. Are you armed, Callan? <laughs> of course you are. To protect me or... You know perfectly well. Well, I don't, actually. I've never been what your Sunday papers lovingly call a KGB executioner. I'm not much good at guns, but I also happen to be armed. Please, don't shoot. You know what it is. Well, you put that on the table very slowly, very carefully. Certainly. You must have seen one of these in your armory. The file inside contains 5 cc of hydrocyanic acid. Fired into your face would kill instantly. The only symptoms are heart failure. This one's our latest model. You were searched? Of course. Our searches are very thorough. They know exactly what to look for. Especially gadgets like this. I told you. There's a traitor in your section. I hope this proves my good faith. Doesn't prove anything. 
heaven's sake, man, if I intended to kill you, I could have done it any time since we entered this house. Who searched you? Ah, oh, a nightcap. Do you mind if I push off? Early to bed, early to rise. Isn't that it? Don't bother, I know the way. Who turned it off? It's only the primary alarm. If any man had got inside, we'd soon know about it. Was somebody actually in the house? In the grounds, probably. Not to worry. Not to worry? Even if somebody's trying to kill me? Or you? gentlemen. What a beautiful day. You want that wipe from the tape, sir? I want the tape doctored, I'll tell you. Quite so, sir. Alan! Callan! You'd make a very good butler, Callan. You'll find some breakfast over there if you want it. You're up early? Yeah. Tell me, whose place was this originally? I don't know, some lord or other, I suppose. And how did your people acquire it? Perhaps you couldn't pay his taxes. Yes. What do you think it's worth? A damn sight more than I get. Yes, the nearest you'd have got would have been the servants' quarters. I think you've been reading Pravda too much. Have I? What's your rank, Callan? Civil servant. Oh, come along. You must have a rank. When we had you in Lubiac, we graded you major. Did you really? You wouldn't believe it, would you? The treatment I got. Did you wear in the army? Yes. Sergeant. Promoted to private. Is that all? Listen, what are you so bloody high and mighty about this morning, then? What are you, a general? No. But I am a colonel. Oh, I do beg your pardon, colonel, sir. Fancy having to share quarters with an NCO. Perhaps I should stand up when you eat. Come off it, Callan. What are we fighting? But we're both the same. Are we really, sir? We're both professionals. If the colonel will excuse me, sir. We do the same job. What I'm curious about is why you do it. Could ask you the same question. But I believe in the future. I believe in the kind of world that we're building. Which is why you've deserted. No, I'm tired. I've had enough. It doesn't mean I regret anything. But why do you do it? It's a job. They put you inside, didn't they? The scrubs. Your father was on the dole. You never had a decent schooling. The army even took away your medal. You owe them a lot, don't you? You think you are really putting it over, don't you? Eh? 
little bit of poison here, a little bit of poison there, a traitor in the section. And that poor fella, Callan, he never had a chance in life, and I'll let you bloody well care. My father was a shoemaker. Oh, really? Name of Richmond? No, I became that when I was 19. I acquired the identity of a man who's been buried in Dublin these... Well, never mind how long. And my parents... Yes, come on, tell me more about your parents. My father was hanged in our village by the Germans. My mother fled with me. She died, I lived. What about your parents? Killed in a blitz. You see, we are very much in common. It was even the same enemy. And that was a long, long time ago. I volunteered. Sword and shield is the motto of the KGB. The sword to fight, the shield to protect. I have been both, but you. You, they blackmailed into it. They blackmailed you and you sold out. Watch it. You sold out everything you stood for. The joke is, what has it got you? Only their contempt. And believe me, they have contempt for you. Or maybe they're a little afraid too, but only a little. They've got you too well trained, you see. You know, you could turn out to be a right treacherous bastard. You're a good mechanic, Callan. Very good at killing. But you'll never be good enough to sit at that table. When I want your advice, mate, I'll send you a wire. <laughs> So much for your primary alarm system. Listen, you stay away from this window. This window or any window. From now on, you don't do anything without my permission, Colonel, sir. Aren't you going to call Charlie? What do you know about Charlie? Charlie is your emergency code word, isn't it? When something like this happens. Who told you about Charlie? The same man in your section. Yes, sir? Get him for me. Priority. Don't you think we should get some help? Just let me worry about that. He knows about Charlie. I tell him he knows. He's just said it. All right, agreed. I think he's beginning to gel, sir. Go on. Well, we know he worked for the second chief directorate under General Gribanov, and he was an instructor at Pushkino, Saranov's outfit. So the rank of colonel seems likely. We're still checking if there's an Irish passport issued in the name of Richmond. Yes, he's using the same name this time, isn't he? Yes, sir, Richmond, as he was when we exchanged him with Callan in Helsinki. Yes, well, let's hope Callan stays away from windows, too. It's getting a little unhealthy out there. You are going to sweat it out, Tavarish, with me right here. Aren't you being a bit foolhardy? I don't trust you. I don't trust anybody. The fewer people around, the better. What about your sniper friend? I'll take the chance. Speaking of trust. Don't you know want to know who the traitor is? Oh, I see. We're going to do a deal now, are we? I give you a clue. Who hates you in the section? Wrong, son. Wrong, wrong, wrong. We are not paid to like each other. But somebody hates you, don't they? Go on. Have another try. You got kicked out of the army, didn't you? So? Of course, you weren't officer material. I believe that is the phrase. We have been through that before. Don't you know a gentleman who was very much officer material, in fact? Good enough for the Brigade of Guards. You're with me, I see. He shares one thing with you. He, too, was kicked out. Some nastiness about a private soldier getting killed. I don't think it ever got to court-martial. Such a useful thing, having a lord for a father. I wonder where you'd be now, Callan, if you had a lord for a father. Never mind. I, I'm always intrigued, you know, by the class consciousness in your army. Like having to salute your guards' officers in civilian dress because only a gentleman officer will wear an idiotic bowler and a rolled umbrella. Let's get to the point. I'm sorry. You see, I'm so relaxed with you, my spleen sometimes shows. Now, what else would you like to know? His name. I want you to say his name. Well, if you want to play out the charade to the end. His name. Mears. Toby Mears. He said it quite distinctly. Mears. Oh, yes, I'll deal with it. How about some coffee, Kellen? 
He has shot you, didn't he? Don't tell me you've forgotten. That was a mistake. How convenient. He was trying to say, Hunter. Unfortunately, Hunter got it too. Mears doesn't hate me. Would you like odds? He saved my life too. Not intentionally. How the hell do you save someone's life unintentionally? Think back. So, Mears is a traitor. Why? Expensive tastes. Slightly bizarre tastes, which make them even more expensive. He's got plenty of money. He will have when his father dies. Oh, <laughs> That's funny. You know, I suddenly had a vision of Mears taking his seat on the House of Lords. A hired killer with sadistic undertones. <laughs> You're a fool, Richmond. Do you know that? You're a fool. I know Mears. I know he's not a traitor. Do you really believe that Eaton, Cambridge, Sandhurst and Blue Blood are treason-proof? I am talking about the man. An arrogant, sadistic, vicious bastard who thinks you need dry cleaning. Tell me something. Why are you playing your trump card? I think time is running out. I think they're after me, right here. I want to make the deal and vanish. I've told you nobody knows you're here. No? I suppose that shot was a poacher after my lord's pheasants. Well, I can't do the deal. You're just here to probe me, to peel me layer by layer. I'm here to debrief you. Ah, now, that's a nice word. We use it in Pushkino, too, for training purposes. I know the model. I remember, Lubyanka. Yeah. I'm too glad I was around to be exchanged for you. Oh, yes. But we've got you now, Richmond. And we don't need anybody you're in. When we leave here, if we leave here, I could hand you over. And you know exactly how Snell and his crowd will play it. For wasting time, get the approval you need. Call whoever you have to call, but get on with it. Yes, Colonel, sir. Oh, for Christ's sake, man. You ever killed a man? Look some other time. Richmond. Have you ever killed a man? No. <laughs> Sir? You're lying. Never killed anyone, indeed. Prague, sir? The Ukrainian in Frankfurt? Yeah. Possibly Onslow in Bordeaux? I don't believe you. It doesn't matter. Any. It does to me. Why? I'm sick and tired of your holier-than-thou attitude. I'm a nice, honest KGB man. You're a dirty, hired killer routine. Please yourself. I know what you are. You and I could be comrades, you know. Well, the day that happens, I'll tell you. Maybe it's already here. Call Hunter, say what he says. Tell him I want to be out of here fast. You realize he may tell me to stop playing games with you? I'll be upstairs. What time? Where did you get this? Yeah, all right, all right. Oh, that. Oh, I put it there. Where did you get it? How long is it since you've seen it? Callum, I must know. We found it in the house in which you were arrested before our exchange took place. You lie. No, no. It was in a book of Shelley's poems. Microdots, remember? We enlarged that one, that's all. Attractive. We never did this kind of thing to you. You couldn't, could you? I haven't got anybody who means as much to me as she does to you. Your wife? Helena. Your children, where are they now? Home. Oh? You left them behind. You came over here, gave yourself up to us, betrayed your contacts, played footsie, and you left them behind? <laughs> Great family man. What the hell do you know about? I know that if I had any, I wouldn't leave them behind. They won't be touched. Oh, no. Times have changed. She can get a widow's pension, that's all. Oh, come on, come on. You're not dead yet, you know. As far as they're concerned, I am. Has it occurred to you they might try and bring pressure to bear? Much too awkward. 
What, simply merely to say he's dead, he died for his country? You might be soon. Don't you say anything, Karen. Until the day comes and you find yourself in my position, do me that small favor, will you? What did Hunter say? He hasn't made up his mind. About what? He hasn't made up his mind whether you're the greatest catch ever or whether he should throw you back in the sea with lead attached. Did you tell him about Mears? Proof, Richmond. Proof. Ask Hunter who searched me. Ask him who so conveniently overlooked that little gadget that could kill you in three seconds. That's right, Callan, isn't it? I was picked up, taken to that place you've got. Mears was in charge, wasn't he? You collected me from Mears, didn't you, to bring me here? Remember what Mears said? He's clean, David, he said. I searched him myself, didn't he? If what you say is true, why didn't he kill you? Why did he let me bring you here so you could spill everything? Because he hopes that I will kill you before he kills me. Well, why should you? You need us. Because I have a very good reason for wanting to kill David Callan. I don't understand. Paris, 23rd of June, 1964, room 46, the Hotel d'Iver. I suppose when a man kills as many people as you do, they all become faceless. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Oh, you remember, all right. Yeah. No, look, come on, come on. She was over there and she ran in, he fired, it she... was your bullet. No, no, it wasn't. Oh, forget it. You won't lose any sleep over it. But she was KGB. Look, I don't see what this has got to In do with you. In our work, sometimes you hate a lot, and sometimes... Oh, I see. I'm sorry. It's past history. But Mears knows about it. His kind can only think in terms of revenge. Why didn't you kill me when you had the chance? Look, I'm tired, Callan. I told you I'm tired of it all. That's why I'm here. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Radio intercept? Uh, yes, sir, a relay from one of their North Sea trawlers. So they know we've got him and where we are keeping him. Yes, sir. I wonder. Why? No, oh, I just wonder, sir, if they want us to know that they know. Yes, that had struck me. After all, they know we intercept. Yes, indeed. And they retransmit from that trawler. Giving us two chances to pick it up. I mean, the cipher isn't top grade. Mm. Origin of primary message, probably our friend in Swiss Cottage. Who they must suspect we know about. Conclusion? They intend us to read this. Precisely. Yeah, but the, the point, sir, it doesn't make sense. No, you're wrong, sir, but quite wrong. It makes a great deal of sense. You know, I think we're all earning our money today. Dear me, I do feel like a gooseberry. Apologies all round, if I'm de trop. Circumstances, unfortunately. How'd you get it? Front door key. I am over 18. Don't worry, David, I've reset the alarm. What's the point of that? What? Gun. Oh. Forgive me. Force of habit. Didn't know be in here. Who were you expecting? Well, you never can tell. And how are you? Singing like a canary? <laughs> Dear me, David, I do hope he's more chatty with you. It must get dreadfully boring otherwise. Yeah. What are you doing here, Toby? Hunter sent me. Oh, yeah? Why? Hate to be tactless, but he seemed to think you needed protecting. Both of you. Oh, that's very decent of him. Yes, isn't it? Especially on my day off. Well, if I need any help, I'll, um, I'll ask for it. So perhaps you'd like to go back and tell him that. Well, I'd love to, but he was quite firm, David, and you know me. Orders are orders. You learned that in the guards, didn't you, Mr. Mears? Good heavens. It speaks. It actually can talk. Well, well, well. Just go back and tell Hunter what I told you, Toby. I'm not your messenger boy, David, and I don't take orders from you. <laughs> Would you ask Tavares what he finds so amusing? It's just a sight of British security men at first hand. Discipline, comradeship, devotion. Shut up, Richmond. We have our problems too in our service. We don't fight like fishwives in front of Toby! I warned you. What's the matter, David? Does he have holy immunity or something? Sack it, Shut up, Richmond. All right. All right, I'm sorry. You see, you're not doing any good here, Toby. Now, that is why I want you to go. Well, I'm sure Hunter would want me to stay. He's not too 
happy about shots popping off at dining room windows and that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Actually, which one of you were they trying to get? Was it you or was it you? Have a guess. Well, I don't know. I can think of an awful lot of people who'd like to have a go at you, David, but then again, Chummy here must have one or two enemies as well. And you've already had your try at Callan, haven't you? And I've changed my mind. I think he talks too much. Yes, I have told him. Yes. Where are you going? I'll be around. That man is going to kill you. Shut up. And just do as you're told. Yes? It's Mr. Bishop, sir. He's just... Sorry, had... no time for ceremony. It's gone far enough, Hunter. We've only just started. I don't want Callan killed. At the moment, everything is under control. Is it? Do you know who you're dealing with? We discussed all that. If we decided the risk is worth taking. The moment he feels he's trapped? Well, you know what a wild animal's like when it's cornered. I don't think he feels trapped. By my score, both sides are even on points. It's not Wimbledon, for God's sake, Hunter. I don't know. Two champions facing each other on equal terms. If anything happens to Callan, we've lost our best man. One of our best. No, oh, don't argue. We've lost him. We haven't found out anything. I think we have. I think we've found out that his job here is bigger than Callan. Mm. They mean after Callan a long time. They don't send a colonel of the directorate just to murder Callan. I'm not sure. Besides, he had his chance, and he didn't take it. Callan is armed. Yeah. Richmond had a much better weapon on him. Their latest hydrocyanic acid pen. Impossible. He was searched, wasn't he? Of course. Well, how could they miss a thing like that? Basic training. Well, they didn't miss it. What? It was overlooked. On my orders. But the best you can do. Cuisine à la British Rail. You've got tomatoes, bacon, fried bread and sausage. Now, if you'd like some baked beans, do them yourself. It all steer after last night's spread, isn't it? Have you started saving the taxpayers' money suddenly? I'm afraid you'll have to rough it, Colonel, or go without. Mind you, damn sight better than you'll be getting in Pentonville. The food there is terrible. God almighty. Now you get uh, fish pie, shepherd's pie, rissoles, cabbage. You get a lot of cabbage. Mind you, on Sundays, you're quite liable to get fish pie. Or, if you're lucky, a little bit of uh, roast beef. Two beds, you know. Unless, of course, you happen to be on number ones. On number ones, that's um, bread and water for being a very naughty boy. Now, Christmas Day, that's smashing. Because on Christmas Day, you might get fish pie. Or you might even get roast pork if you're lucky. And that really is worth waiting for. What's all this in need of, Callan? Food. Food in prison. Very important food in prison. Especially when you're going to get 10, 15, 20 years, which is what you get for espionage these days. That's what's going to happen to me, is it? Oh, it could happen to all of us, couldn't it? Oh, I don't know. No, I think you'd be all right. You get a cushy number. You, you'd probably finish up by teaching geometry in the scrubs. But me? Oh, no, that's different, because I'm a recidivist. A relapser. A loser. <laughs> no, but you, you'd be all right. Because you, you finish up with a colonel's pension. Why don't we both get out? Now, who's to stop us? Who? They. The news headlines. The Home Office has denied a press report that a high-ranking KGB official has defected in this country. In a statement, the Home Office says it has no knowledge of any such person seeking asylum in Britain, nor is it true that such an individual has been under interrogation by the security authorities. The common market in Brussels... Madam. Your people promised, they promised complete secrecy, not a whisper. Well, they kept their promise, didn't they? I mean, they, uh, they have denied it. Don't you understand, Callan? There's been a story in the papers that might as well drop leaflets over Moscow. Well, so what's wrong with you? You're not no judge exactly where you are. No, Callan, you don't understand the mentality. This kind of public announcement spells out one thing. That I've turned traitor. Oh, haven't you? Why did you people do it? Well, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, you just can't help these things. You have your D-notices, haven't you? And perhaps you didn't think you were worth a D-notice. All right. What are you going to do with me? I don't know. Where's Mears? 
I don't know that either. I don't think I'm going to stay here. Well, from now on, you don't move an inch without my say-so. If they want an incident, they can turn this into it. They don't need to set this up for an incident. You can have one of those any time. I'm going to ask monitoring to listen into Radio Moscow with special care. In case they play a request record for him. I didn't say no. In case there's some announcement about our kidnapping one of their citizens, holding him against his will. You know the form. I tell you they wanted Richmond to fall into our warm little hands. I know it. But why? It's for Callan to find out. It's a long day. Yeah. And I think you've found out what you wanted to know. Could be. So it's up to you. What is? Whether you give me a chance or not. What are you talking about? I'm just a pawn. It's not up to me. Look, if you tell them that you really believe that I've had enough, that I've simply thrown my hand in and that's it, they'll believe you. On my say so. They would never have set you up for this operation otherwise. Right. I tell you, there is this Russian whose name is Richmond. He's a bit of a mystery, but he's a pro. Oh, yes, he's a pro, all right. Now, he knows that we know who he is, because after all, we've had him once before. But he comes over here, he allows himself to be picked up as easy as pie. Go on. Now, he knows he's going to be put through it by another pro, right? We naturally want to know what he's really up to. God, he says that... Uh, he wants to disappear, you know, to vanish. But we think he may be here for something very special. Of course. Mind you, he tells us nothing but the truth. He tells us he's still loyal to his lot. He tells us all he knows about us. He makes it quite clear that he dislikes us. Quite clear. You see, nothing but the truth. Correct. And then just for good measure, he puts the kiss of death on one of our blokes. And you know what I think? I think it's all a bloody lie. But you're not sure, are you? No. So, as I said, it's up to you. Now, let me tell you something. There's a man called Callan, a killer who hates to kill, a man who hates himself. Supposing he'd had enough, supposing he wanted to escape, where could he go? Oh, he could go to Hunter and say, I quit. He could even walk out, but you know what would happen then? A red file for Callan. That's what they call it, isn't it? A red file? A car accident? A lift shaft? A high window? A shot? No escape. Except one place. The other side. Where a hunter can't just pick up a phone and have you eliminated. Where you could vanish. Where you'd be safe. Oh, yes, you'd be safe. But you would have to do exactly as I've done. You would have to be honest. So I've come to the other side. You see, Callan, for people like you and me, safety can only be found among our enemies. It's our friends that will kill us. What do you want me to do? Very difficult to know who to trust these days, isn't it, sir? You know, of course, they've listened to every single word we've said in this house. Of course. They've checked it. They have noted it. And they have made sure they've understood it. I know. What are you going to do now, then? Oh, you'd be surprised how easily I become faceless. You know, Callan, the first time I met you in that hotel room in Helsinki, I liked you. That's one thing they have no control over. Our liking each other. Yeah. Well, to hell with them. What's the matter with the damn thing, Caro? Don't worry, sir. We've got two other microphones in that bedroom. Nobody's speaking, that's all. What the devil's happening? What are they doing? What's the last thing you got? Um. There. Yeah. To hell with them. 
Stand there, David. Oh, Christ. Yes, I know. You took a hell of a crack. Yeah. Uh, hold that. Uh, is he gone? Yes, he's gone. Good. <sighs> well, you can't blame him, can you? No, you can't. Give me a hand. Yeah, come on. I hope to God they don't lose him after all this. I've just about given up hope. I thought he was never going to try yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go down. You sure you can yeah, make... yeah, yeah, I've been hit on the neck before, all right? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, wow, let's do it. So... You must be very pleased with yourself, David. Oh, what for? Richmond knew you hadn't fallen for any of it. Well done, Callan. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. For being hit on the neck. He's been under surveillance from the moment he rushed out. With any luck, we'll know what he really came over for. <laughs> you hope. Interesting man. He thought he'd won you over, but finally he couldn't take a chance with you. He had to show his true colours. Did he? Well, don't tell me you believed any of it, David. Maybe. Like what? Well, like it's our friends who kill us. <laughs> <laughs>